Michael Bay is known for making long movies. What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex, you and you're watching The Road to TF5. This is Webster's where Tavo Transforms last night. This is episode number 182. And in this episode, we're going to start off with this tweet right here. And we're going to get right to it. So it says, from Vicky Dextro, Hey Alex, you need to take a look at this. This is a total disappointment. And I was thinking, what is he talking about? What is a disappointment? And he's referring to this tweet from Michael Bay. Reports of Transformers last night being over three hours is wrong. It's shorter than the last three movies by a lot. And, well, there's Michael Bay right there with, with his official announcement that it's not three hours. It's not over three hours, but it's less than the last three movies. Not all four of them, but the last sequels. All right, so wait a minute. What was he talking about with regards to these reports? Well, he's talking about this right here. This image or rather this screenshot was shared with me or tweeted at me a lot and it says that Transformers last night is three hours and two minutes and I really didn't have anything to say about that just because it's not from an official source if there was gonna be an announcement about it from an official source source it would have been from uh, Michael Bay himself or Paramount or from some some uh, more um, credible um, movie news website you know what i'm saying but just seeing this no i didn't believe it that's why i didn't respond to it i've been getting tweets like this for the last uh, three days but i had nothing to say about it just because you know what we're gonna hear the truth and this is not the truth this i don't have no idea where that came from now let's take a look at the running times of the last four transformers films the first one was and uh two hours and 24 minutes revenge of the fallen was Two and a half hours, Dark of the Moon was two, two hours and 34 minutes, and Age of Extinction being the longest was two hours and 45 minutes. Now, he said that the uh, Transformers last night is less than the last, is shorter than the last three films, which are the sequels. So it's shorter than Age of Extinction, it's shorter than Dark of the Moon, it's shorter than Revenge of the Fallen, but if what he said is true, then it's going to be longer than the first Transformers film. So with that being said, based on what we gather, it's going to be longer than 2 hours and 24 minutes, but shorter than 2 and a half hours, which really isn't that much shorter, to be completely honest. Look, let me just be completely re real with you guys. I don't care if it's two hours long, I don't care if it's three hours long, as long as they give us a good story and a good movie, that's all that matters. If it's two hours long, or even if it's uh, an hour and 59 minutes, if they can give us a good cohesive story, then I'm down. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You know, I, I, I'm not concerned about, um, oh, we're not going to see enough action. We're not going to see enough robots. No, it's all going to be there. Believe me. If they need two hours to tell a good story, then that's what they'll use. But three hours for a film is exhausting. Okay. You have to ha tell a really, really engaging story. And, and I'm telling you, at, po at some points in Age of Extinction, I just felt like, holy crap, uh, this is this is a pretty long movie. Like, a three-hour film only feels like a, a good film if it doesn't actually feel like a three-hour film. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're completely engaged from beginning to end, and you just you just never tell yourself that this is a long movie. This really felt like three hours. And I'll tell you that one of those films is, you know, and this is just my opinion, Titanic. It was engaging from beginning to end, and even though I know it was a long film, it just didn't felt like a dragging three hours. You know what I'm saying? There are some films out there that are three hours long, and you just tell yourself, holy cow, that was a long movie. For example, the extended cut of King Kong from Peter Jackson. Now, that was a long movie, and I just felt it, because it was just not very well paced. You can just tell that this is taking longer than it needs to tell. Now, um... I gotta tell you that we shouldn't have to be worried about Michael Bay making this film too short because Michael Bay is known for making long movies. I'm not talking about the Transformers films. I mean, sure, they are long, but I'm talking about all his other films. I mean, let's take a look at his longest film, Pearl Harbor. That is three hours and three minutes, and the director's cut is three hours and four minutes. Okay, that's a long movie. And then there's Armageddon, which was... 
two and a half hour, two and um, two hours and thirty one minutes, and with a director's cut of two hours and thirty three minutes. Another long movie right there. But Armageddon was was fun and it was a good movie. Okay. Even Bad Boys 2. Now that I felt was a long movie. It just didn't end. I was just thinking like, man, this movie is going a little bit over time and I'm beginning to feel exhausted. Bad Boys 2, while fun and action packed, was an exhausting film. That was 2 hours and 27 minutes long. <laughs> a little bit longer than it needs to be. 13 hours was, was a good film and I would say that um, even at uh, 2 hours and 24 minutes... It was still it was still decent enough that I felt that it 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 um it was a decent length actually I felt that that film was poor was well paced not poorly paced was well paced and it actually uh, did a great job at uh, conveying the story within a, a, a good time uh, so a good running time now we also have The Rock and that was um, two hours and sixteen minutes so that's a pretty decent running time really really action packed really engaging and that was one of uh, Michael Bay's better films. I mean, that was a really good film. The Rock is actually, I would say, one of the top 10 action films of all time. So even though it's 2 hours and 60 minutes, it's decent. And then there's The Island, which also has the same running time, 2 hours and uh, 60 minutes. Now, that was a decent film, but it you'd still know that that was a film that felt quite, uh, felt long. Uh, because, like, you felt that, did I just see the, the climax or is there more? And then, little do you know, there's more. And then there's Pain and Gain, which is, you know, it's just a comedy uh, that is set in Miami. But that one was over two hours. It was two hours and nine minutes. And then brings us to Bad Boys, which is not even two hours, but it's just right up there at one hour and 59 minutes. Not even two hours, but he had to just crank it up all the way to almost reaching the two hour mark. So that is his shortest film that's not actually two hours. Bad Boys. So Michael Bay is... Is like James Cameron, like he he they all they both make long movies, and not only do they make long movies, they make director's cuts for their already long movies. So you don't have to worry about Michael Bay making his films too short. Believe me, with a big film like this, it's gonna be a it's gonna have a substantial running time. All right. Anyways, we're almost uh uh we're almost at the release date of Transformers. The last night, it's getting there. Uh, uh, you got 20 more days left, and it uh, turns out that there's still one more trailer left. I've seen enough. I'm just curious, like, what on earth are they gonna show with a brand new trailer? We got Transformers last night, um, trailer 2D, and its running time is 91 seconds. And I'm just thinking, haven't we seen enough? Really, do we need to pump out another trailer? Apparently, we're getting one. So. Uh, I have no idea what they would even want to show at this point, but we are getting another trailer. So anyways, for the rest of this video, I'd like to talk about the toys. In the last episode, I talked about a um, the images of, or rather screenshots of the Wave 3 Deluxe Bumblebee. Here's another shot of it, and uh, this is what it looks like. And it looks like they've done something a little bit different here with the transformation. And it looks a little better. You know how in the other one they, they had the wings out there, like the, 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 the window panels? Looks like uh, they turned it down a bit. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Hasbro mistransforming things is a pretty standard thing. So, uh, it looks like this could be the, uh, the, the, the right way to go. Anyways, thanks to Grim, uh, King Grimlock to sh for sharing that with me. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is exclusives. And uh, Japan always has their exclusives. And of course, the there's the Leader Class, Caliber, Optimus Prime, TLK-15. That's a Japan exclusive. Actually, a Toys R Us exclusive. But it turns out that the Voyager Class Megatron is also a Toys R Us exclusive. Now, what does that mean for us? Not a whole lot. Because the Hasbro version is going to be available everywhere. But if you're in Japan, the Voyager Class Megatron is going to be a Toys R Us exclusive. I can't even tell if there's going to be any difference. I mean, look at these images right here. I mean, it really looks the same. I, don't, I, I really can't tell if there's any, going to be any type of difference there. So I'm really not concerned about that. Uh, moving on, if you are in Malaysia, there's going to be some um, a, a, a giveaway for you. At mynews.com, they're doing a giveaway for uh, one of 10 limited edition gold chrome Transformers Last Night Voyager class Optimus Prime figures. And it's an exclusive contest and all you gotta do is go visit mynews.com 
and then it'll give you all the instructions for how to win this. So to all the Transformers Malaysian fans, uh, you got a great contest ahead of you guys. Don't miss out. Uh, make sure you get an opportunity to try to win this figure because it'll be a great uh, addition to your collection. Moving on, let's talk about another Voyager class Optimus Prime. And now this one is one that we're quite familiar with, but they have another repainted version. Uh, you know, no surprise there. Repainted version for for Target and also for UK fans, uh, they got it as an Argos exclusive. And this is all this really is is a um, is a repaint of the Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager class Optimus Prime. So nothing new here. Doesn't look really that great. I don't know anybody who if anybody would actually want this. But uh, all they've really done is added the um, you know you have the shield and the sword and it's all red and just doesn't look great at all. But if you are Optimus Prime collector then uh, you, and you like a lot of red on your Optimus Prime, then there you have it. <laughs> and then finally we got a, a Walmart exclusive. Turns out that the uh, the Legion class hot rod is a a Walmart exclusive, and I gotta tell you, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty impressed for a Legion class. It looks pretty decent. I mean, it's simple because it's a Legion class, but at least it looks like, you know, it looks like an actual robot, not like an actual, like one of those Legion classes that looks so like, uh, you know, so static looking, you know what I'm saying? You know which ones I'm talking about, like that Bumblebee, for example. But anyways, this looks pretty decent, and there is Hot Rod for you. These images were from RobotKingdom.com, even though they're Target and Walmart exclusives, they're being offered at their website, so uh, if you want that, uh, head over there right now. Anyways, big shout-outs to Neil Before Optimus Prime um, contributors. Uh, we got uh, Cool Prank, Jeter Dag Dag, and also Mikhail Montalvo. Thank you so much for your submissions, Neil Before Optimus Prime. Anyways, that's all I got to say in this episode. We got a lot more to talk about. I'm a little bit behind on the video, so in the next episode, we're going to do, uh, we're going to talk about new official images and my thoughts about the the new toys that are coming out in wave three or four i don't even know uh and then there's a brand new tv spot which i'm gonna check out and then give you guys my reaction apparently it's got all new footage well mostly new footage so that's gonna be something i'm gonna be looking forward to anyways that's all i gotta say in this episode what do you guys think about the running time for transformers last night like i said between Two and two, um, two hours and twenty-four minutes, and under two and a half hours. So, you know, that's not a real big deal, to be completely honest. It's, it's still going to be a decent length, and as long as it's not that much shorter than the first Transformers film, then I'm good. Just tell us a good story. That's all you got to do. Um, you know, easier said than done. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got to say in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, hit that like button, subscribe to YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation. Also follow me on Twitter, Raging Nation. My name is Alex. You thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Dragon Storm, and it's a combination of black and red in the the paint job. Okay, this knight is a combination of metallic and red.